The Kalin and K-7 was an experimental heavy aircraft designed for the Soviet Union in the early 1930s. This was a very unique design for the time, utilizing the twin tail boom design at this scale, as well as the unique underwing pods that house the landing gears as well as large machine gun turrets. Originally it only had the six forward facing engines, but as development went on it saw the addition of a single and double rear facing engine as well. Development of the K-7 was intended for military as well as civilian applications. In the military application, you could see 112 fully equipped paratroopers being transported or over 21,000 pounds of bombs being carried. In a civilian application, we could carry 120 passengers as well as cargo. After two years of construction, the first flight of the K-7 was in August of 1933. The flight was brief due to instability from vibration in the airframe from the engines. In an effort to fix this problem, the tail booms were shortened and reinforced. However, after seven successful test flights, there was a crash due to a failure in the strength of the tail boom. After investigations of sabotage, two more prototypes were ordered, but were never completed as the project was cancelled before they finished construction. Now some of you might be watching this and thinking that this is all wrong, this isn't as big as it should be or as crazy as it should be, and the fact is that the K-7 is a victim of like an internet urban legend hoax kind of thing. Um, there's a number of pictures that are doctor to make it look way bigger than it really was and with like battleship cannons on it and things like that. And the fact of the matter is, is this is this is what it was. It was about the size of a B-52 just with a, a broader wing. But that's it. Um, it is crazy. <laughs> it is an amazing aircraft, but not as nuts as the internet has made it out to be. this season finale of History's Misfits Season 2. Um, we're going to take a couple weeks off here to develop uh, the next season, um, which I'm going to be taking all from, or mostly from, uh, subscriber and viewer comment suggestions, and uh, also going to be working on a couple other kind of odds and end projects. Uh, we just passed up 2,000 subscribers recently, and I wanted to make a couple videos to kind of celebrate that and uh, a couple other standalone projects and the next in the series of the uh, VTOL saga. So um, thank you for watching and like and subscribe to see more.